So guys, I'm back out again, I'm back out at Helensborough, just at the pier side, and I'm on the beach, and uh, quite a lot of tourists, just going up and down the old city, the old city line, and uh, a lot of people just walk this path right down the fast lane, right down to the bottom, and uh, for years and years and years I've probably been throwing coins in over the side, and uh, probably that's why I'm finding so many of them here. I've had over 400 coins here just in a party a stretch and I reckon it's all to do with holiday makers just coming here and throwing in coins some of course will be dropped by people walking along the beach sitting on the beach because as you'll see today there is people just over there sitting uh, just out at the edge of the beach so that could be why there's so many coins there just people throwing in a coin into the water and uh, so the idea was to work this area I've worked it really well and I've took over 400 coins from it the disappointing part of it's been uh, no gold, but uh, I suspect we're about a couple of metres up the road. We get a bit of gold. I just you just never know. There was Victorian changing rooms and things like that just further up. So you know it's just just your luck if you happen to walk over it. And uh, I think I've cleaned up the coins in this part over 400, as I've said. So I'll keep going and uh, I'll get back to using my first hit. Right guys, I just dug that, I got a 59, and that is, I think, a very warped Enfield bullet. It's been getting bashed about for a long time, that one. But it is a little, a little Enfield bullet. Guys, I just dug that, came up with a 64, and it's a big musket ball. It's a nice find. Right guys, I just dug that, came up with a 47, <coughs> and it is a very weak signal. Possibly a bit of silver. If not a coin, look how thin it is. I thought I'd found a hammered coin when I seen it. <coughs> no idea what it is. But I'll look at them and let you know in the round up. Guys, I just dug that, that came up with a 50. And I think it's a silver coin. Possibly a George V. Yep, George V. Sixpence, I think it is. Yep. Yep, definitely silver. Woohoo! It's a Georgia Six and it's a, a Georgia Fifth. And it's a little sixpence. Get in. I get an 89 on the machine and it's a big penny. Who is it? Oh, let's find out. Give me a little second to clean it. I think it's Georgia Fifth, but give me a wee second to clean it. Yep, a little Georgia Fifth penny. I did think it was George V when I seen it, but I just wanted to check where it is, a George V penny. Right guys, just dug that, got an 84, and it's a big penny. No idea who it is, it's very, very crusty, but hopefully when I get it cleaned up in the house, I'll be able to identify it. Right guys, just dug that, that is a George V penny. Come up with an 84, another cool find. Guys, I just dug that, I got an 84, and that was like a big penny. Yep, and it's an Elizabeth the second big ship's penny, probably. That's cool. Just dug that, it's another 84, and a big penny. No idea who that one is, possibly another George V penny looking at it. I think it's a George V. Yeah, it looks like a George V penny. Right guys, I just dug that, that came up with an 84, it's a half penny, it's a ship's half penny, I think it's uh, Elizabeth II, that'll let you know in the round up. Just dug that, that came up with a 71, uh, oh, we've got a one shilling, 1951, ah oh, it's not silver, George VI, 1951, one shilling, which means it's probably Cooper I Nickel, but it is still a nice find. Right guys, I just dug that, that came up with an 84 and it's a uh, Elizabeth is the second half penny, shirt penny Just dug that, it's an 89 and now it's like a big penny again Yep, 1914, probably George V Yep A nice big George V penny 
right guys, going to do a quick round up. Uh, I've been going now for about an hour and a half and uh, it's been pretty slow in this area. I have handled this area for over 300 coins, so I didn't expect much, but I did produce again. 13 modern day coins, 10 pences, 1 pences, 2 pences. So far I've got 11 uh, pre decimals for George V, Queen Victoria, and George VI shillings, and uh, big pennies and half pennies. I'm pretty sure there's more out there, I'm going to give it a go again. I got a nice Enfield and a musket ball, which were nice finds. Also found a, a house key, which has been out there for some time, judging by the colour. Two bits of silver, George V, sixpence, which is in rough condition. And I think this is a scrap bit of silver. Again, it'll be one I'll not be able to test until I get it home, but I will give it a test and let you know in the roundup. Right guys, just dug that, that came up as a 77 and that is a free ring ability, if I'm not mistaken. Right guys, just got a 71 and that is a Dutch customs bail seal, if I'm not mistaken. RAA 475, yep, Dutch customs seal. Right guys, just dug that, that came up as an 84 and it's a half penny. No idea who it is. <laughs> Again, it's very, very warm, but I'll get it cleaned up for the roundup. I just got an 89 and it's a big penny. And that one is. I've no idea. Possibly a George V penny, I think it is. It does look like another George V penny. Right, guys, just dug that. It's an 84. I think it's a George VI penny. Or Elizabeth II, that's one of the two, but I'll let you know on the roundup. Just up that, I got an 84, and it's a big penny. I think it's a big George VI penny. That's what it looks like. Possibly George VI and a penny. Hey right, guys, just up that, that's a 54, and it's another musket ball. Guys, right, just a quick roundup, it's 34 coins. That's what we finished on. Two musket balls, an Enfield, a free ringer, two bits of silver, and I think this is part of a badge. As you can see, loop in a loop. That generally means it's been a badge of some sort, but there's nothing left on it, and an old key. That's an old bad little hunt, if I'm being honest. Uh, I've been out for about two hours, so 33 coins in two hours is uh, quite a great hunt, so uh, I'm going to call it a day for this hunt. And uh, hopefully I'll catch you back out again soon. Right, good luck, happy hunting, and I'll catch you then. Bye for now. Good evening, guys. How are we? Welcome to the roundup for this video. Uh, it was a probably about a two-hour hunt held for a beach, and uh, I hammered a spot that I've hammered over 400 coins from. So I didn't expect to get too much, to be quite honest. So I got more than I expected working uh, parts, and obviously I missed stuff. And uh, here's what they are. Most of them are modern-day coins, two pences. Uh, and pennies. Down here we've got Elizabeth the second pennies, half pennies, ship's pennies. George VI, one shilling. Which is good pie nickel and these are all just George VI pennies as well and a half penny. And again we've got George V pennies and a half penny. Uh, it was really hard going out the other day. Uh, I've got in. If I ever can ever can suggest something to people that do beach hunts, is say uh, don't do it when tourists are on the beach because you just never get any peace. And uh, that's the second time I've done it, and I've just not got any peace. So that's why I called it a day, a two-hour hunt. And uh, so going to some relics now. Uh, Enfield bullet, free ringer, two musket balls, and a Dutch custom seal. As you can see, crown and line. RAA 475, which is a Dutch custom seal. This one here didn't clean up too well, but it is a George V. Sixpence. Very, very bad condition. And of course we got this. Which I still think could easily be a silver coin. Very, very worn silver coin. I don't know, scrap bit of silver, worn silver coin. One of the two. I really thought I'd found a hammered when I seen it. It really took me by surprise. I don't even know if it is a worn down one. I doubt it on the foreshore, but you just never know that town queen about since the early 1600s, so maybe. Yeah, we got a wee key as well. 
and uh, this was a badge as you can see I don't know if what you, you could see what I was saying there was two loops on it for a pin and a loop where a pin would have looked over and clipped in and that was like just there and uh, yeah it was a good hunt and uh, I still expect good things to come from that and uh, basically there's one hunt I'm going to do that I can probably almost guarantee if I don't find the hundred coins then <laughs> I'll give up metal detecting and uh, because I do reckon there'll be hundreds of coins in this stretch and uh, and that's a video that will be coming soon hopefully I've not did it yet but hopefully it'll be a video that's coming soon right good luck happy hunting and I'll catch you on the next one bye for now